Hey, look at this, a Manatee County man under the national spotlight tonight. He's using a gun to take out invasive fish underwater. Yeah, ABC Action News reporter Isabella Rosales caught up with him after this video went viral tonight. He's got the perfect name. That's because when he's not working as a mortgage broker, Cortland Hunt is on the hunt for lionfish. At first, he didn't take up arms to protect the environment. Rather, he just wanted to see if he could shoot his Glock underwater. I think of myself as an uh, extreme outdoorsman. Many tries later, he got it. We call him MacGyver. His lead-free bullets can go There's six feet in distance. His gun, more than 100 feet underwater. Make no mistake, these fish are a menace. Here's how many there were in 1985 and then 30 years later. As a diver, Hunt has seen the damage himself. There's tons of lionfish there. No fish, no bait fish, no grouper. They eat everything. They also threaten coral reefs and have no natural predators. What started out as a hobby, diving in with a beefed up Glock, has turned into a real mission to protect the environment. So far, Hunt has killed more than 100 of these lionfish. These striped predators are such a threat. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission awards fishermen who kill the most. The hunt, not without danger. For about two hours, I had difficulty breathing, and it was one of the most ex uh, excruciatingly painful times of my life. The experience a reminder on the importance of taking these fish out of Tampa Bay. Hunt's next project? Building a better gun that goes further and shoots faster and longer. Perhaps he'll switch his first name from Cortland to Ultimate. In Bradenton, Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.